Hey there, full place viewers, I'm Tommy, this is Hard Made Easy, and we got some new challenges to Zone Operation. We got um, challenge 11 up to 15 now, and uh, it's my job to make it easy for you. To make this challenge easy for you. I will have a very specific build for this, and this will uh, make it extremely easy. I will uh, be mostly AFK. However, I will also talk about how to... Um, how to face the different monster boost that we will be facing for those who um, don't have this build this exact build like i do if there still is a challenge uh, that it's hard for you to beat just tell me in uh, the comments uh, tell me what the gear you have tell me what attack you have and all of that and i will make a specific video for you a custom video for you for that specific challenge the two Things that will make this challenge extremely easy is my armor of uh, Quietus. Quietus? Quietus? Quietus. <laughs> and uh, this one. Void Waker Emblem. These two will uh, make these challenges very easy. Let's activate them all and just check here. Monster attack intervals are shorter. I guess that is some kind of like a cooldown reduction for them. Monsters can charge. Depending on the mobs you're facing, uh, that can be troublesome for you. Um, pick weapon skill with a knockdown. Mobs get one shield stacks. Shield stacks will block one hit no matter the damage you do. You need to do continuous damage to get rid of the shield stack. I recommend uh, weapon skills like Molotov is great against shield stacks. Mobs don't flinch, uh, meaning uh, no knockback. Only two skill choices on level up can be annoying if you don't get the skills you want. You can do either the force quit trick or you can just restart the challenge until you get what you want. Hey, we have the first boss. Easy peasy. <laughs> Before going AFK, I always try to get the Kunai Evo into the Shuriken and get uh, both of the drones and get those Evo into the Destroyer. Then I can uh, be basically AFK uh, for the rest of the challenge. I have kept the chest there on the ground because I want to have a weapon skill ready to Evo before I pick it up. You are guaranteed to get the Evo if you have the weapon skill ready to Evo. What I mean with a weapon skill ready to Evo is you have the weapon skill up to 5 star and you have the supporter path skill for it. In this example here, I have my Kunai ready to Evo uh, because I have it Astral Forge and I don't need the Kuga Ninja Skull for it to Evo. And I have both of the drones up to 5 star and uh, those two don't require a passive skill, they just need to have five stars each so now when i pick up the chest i will get either the kunai oh, shuriken or the destroyer or maybe both i will just get one you are guaranteed to get one of them all right i enter the soul state meaning i have to keep my souls up If I'm running out of souls, I will die. That was the armor of Quietus Dus. And now I can just be AFK for the rest of the challenge. As you can see, Murica is uh, staying healthy. Full health all the time. And I will... Uh... There we go. <laughs> that was for that challenge. And I will explain later in the video how i can keep my pet healthy at all times keep healing next up is challenge 12 the only booster you have to keep in mind is the xp beans will disappear after a while i highly recommend you pick up the passive skill the magnet all right let's go this challenge can be a little bit annoying before you have the magnet passive skill because it takes so long to level up. 
and we have now entered the soul state and that's fine because i have the shuriken i will be able to kill off the mobs at a fast pace all right next boss deleting the bosses but as you can see here my souls are down to seven now so i need to kill off the mobs fast five four all right and now it will go up again all right the destroyer and shuriken acquired and now i will just be afk one more time for the rest of this challenge didn't find the magnet passive skill though. The game can be like that sometimes. And boss fight once again. And that's that challenge. <laughs> Next up, challenge 13. Monsters gain 3 shield stacks. Then I highly recommend you, you pick up the Molotov. To get those shield stacks away. Random poison pools. Fire cancels poison. So you don't have to think about the random poison pools. However, there have been some glitches with this. Uh, on the previous zone operation challenges. Fire should cancel poison. Uh, but in some uh, challenge, it didn't. The poison pools just stayed on uh, the ground. Don't know why. Alright, challenge 13 let's go all right for challenge 13 you really need to uh, get your weapon skills that do continuous damage uh, quite fast you need to melt that shield <laughs> stack away yeah the shield stack is uh, really doing its thing for the monsters i have a really hard time killing off the monsters at a high pace <laughs> so i don't want to enter soul state right now all right first boss all right we will be entering soul state here <laughs> we're getting overwhelmed or maybe not we have entered soul state right now it does look like i'm able to kill of the mobs in a good pace anyway but getting the molotov would really help <laughs> all right second boss Right now, I'm really attacking the mobs to keep my soul count uh, high. <laughs> and I don't think I will be able to be AFK on uh, this challenge. Maybe now when I have the shuriken. Let's try. Yeah, it seems to be uh, working. Now when I have the shuriken. Final word for this challenge. You need to get your weapon skill that do continuous damage and a uh, high fire rate it was a little bit hard before i got the shuriken now it's easy and i also have the molotov which do a great job at sh um, melting <laughs> those shield stacks away and that's for that challenge challenge Next up is challenge 14. Play movement speed at 40%. I recommend you to get the sport shoe because when you are that slow it's really hard to avoid the boss's attacks. Pets can't be rescued, meaning if they die or get knocked out you can't bring them back up. And like I said earlier, I will show you how to keep them healthy. You want to have this skill. This one will keep the pet healthy. And just keep healing and healing and healing and healing. And they will stay healthy. All the time. Challenge 14. Let's go. Alright. First boss. Can I pick up the chest now? Because I will get a new one from the boss. Right, I have the shuriken now, and I'm gonna check if I can be AFK here. It, it looks like it. Second boss fight. 
a little side note depending on where you are on a square map the mobs will spawn differently if you are here at the top of the map they will spawn uh, at the bottom if i uh, move to the right here they will start spawning from the left instead and you can use uh, this to your advantage when you're standing in uh, the middle at the top they will bump into each other down uh, there and it will be easier for you to deal with the mobs just a little tip but just a tip and that's that challenge uh, and for the last challenge <laughs> I recorded uh, myself beating this, but I have uh, I had moved the mic uh, too far away from from it, so <laughs> the sound wasn't good. All right, and uh, what I was trying to tell you while I recorded this earlier, this challenge is not for the Death Walker build, the build with the uh, armor of Quietus and the um, Void waker emblem because it's not that high of a monster count early on exp beans will disappear after a while making you having a hard time uh, leveling up player bullets have great chance to deal one damage meaning it will take uh, much longer for you to kill of the mobs and when player is within a certain distance monsters gain plus one shield stack at intervals all of this making the death walker build not the right build for this challenge so instead i will use a full eternal set i have the eternal gloves astral forge meaning i will heal on critical uh, kills all right let's do this for this challenge you really want to pick up the high power magnet as soon as you can uh, that will make it uh, easier for you to level up you can even pick up the Kuga Ninja Scroll, making it a little bit easier to level up as well. And we are facing the first boss. Merka is uh, doing a lot of damage to bosses. I see you getting out of line again, trying to move on up. I will put you in the fucking ground, understood? When you have the Awaken Merka, that is. There we go, high power magnet. And for the rest of my passives, I will um, go with a very uh, defensive build. I will pick up the Ronin Vest, the Fitness Guide, the Energy Drink, everything that will keep me healthy. Uh, because I keep forgetting about the Oxygen thingy on this challenge. I lost my bird. There it is. You don't want to pick up the HE fuel on uh, this challenge because you want to <laughs> be uh, able to kill the mobs close to you. So you can get the biofuel or the EXP beans that I are calling it now. And I don't know why they changed it because they have always called it biofuel until now. Now they're calling it the EXP beans and it, they don't even look like beans. They look like diamonds. Since I'm healing on critical kills, I'm using King and I'm trying to push King's exclusive skill up to uh, five stars. That will help help me stay healthy as well. Merkia. Awaken Merkia. Even at one star is crazy good at bosses. And from now on, I will do like <laughs> small baby steps away from the mobs that throws bombs when they die. Alright, 30 more seconds of this. Yeah, I thought I had an elite army because I saw my <laughs> character got pushed away. It's quite hard to tell what's going on right now. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright, now I'm just gonna stay away from the boss. Have a murky deal with uh, the boss. And there we go. That's how to deal <laughs> with challenge 15. Challenge 15 is the um, uh, first challenge on uh, this season on zone operation that I found uh, challenging. Uh, that it was uh, a little bit harder to pull off. Fitness guide, Ronin invest, uh, high power magnet, uh, energy drink will help you uh, get this. And of course, uh, Eternal Glove Astral Forge, uh, which will heal you, keeping you healthy. And Murkia to deal with the bosses. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe and put on notifications so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Until next time, take care. Bye.